Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Tom Gailey. Uh, I'm an OBGYN physician, and this morning we're going to discuss uh, size greater than dates in an obstetrical patient. Uh, one of the first things that you always want to ask is, is the menstrual history uh, accurate? We have to remember that there are errors in patient recall, and second of all, there is misinterpretation of some abnormal bleeding during pregnancy. In approximately 20 to 25 percent of patients, there may be some abnormal bleeding uh, during early pregnancy, and the patient may uh, interpret this as being a, a menstrual period, which would give uh, inaccurate menstrual history. The second thing to recall is the possibility of multiple gestation. Uh, in the United States, the instance of multiple gestation, depending on the population you're talking about, is anywhere from 1 to 3 percent. So obviously, if you have more than one uh, pregnancy in the uterus, the uterus can be uh, significantly uh, more enlarged than what the menstrual history would suggest. The third thing that you want to consider is the possibility of hydramnios, and recall that hydramnios means excess amounts of amniotic fluid. In about uh, a half to two-thirds of, of the cases, especially if the amount of fluid uh, is just uh, mildly increased, no etiology for this can be determined. But as the degree of hydramnios becomes more severe, the more likely you are to find an abnormal cause for this, and especially uh, mindful is the possibility of congenital anomalies, and so you want to very carefully keep that in mind. The fourth thing to consider is hydatidiform mole. Uh, hydatidiform mole is not very common uh, in the United States, but in about 50% of cases, uh, the uterus is larger uh, than dates. This is frequently associated with some abnormal bleed, bleeding during the first portion uh, of uh, pregnancy. The fifth cause for size greater than dates is the possibility of uterine lyomyomata. These uh, occur in about 1% of uh, pregnant women, and they may undergo significant increases uh, in size during pregnancy. Uh, and may lead to uh, multiple complications during pregnancy. The sixth thing that you always want to consider is the possibility of a distended maternal bladder. Uh, always uh, ask yourself, could uh, the bladder be uh, d distended and uh, therefore causing uh, the uterus to uh, appear or feel larger? Uh, than what you would anticipate. The seventh thing to keep in mind is the possibility of adnexal masses. Uh, remember that you can have ovarian cysts during pregnancy, uh, both benign and malignant, and since these could be in very close apposition to the uterus, it may uh, cause the sensation that the uterus is much larger than what you would anticipate. The eighth thing to always keep in mind is the possibility of what I call technical difficulties in measuring the fundus of the uterus. You always want to measure from the top of the symphysis pubis over the top of the fundus of the uterus until you reach the most superior portion. If the patient uh, is obese, then that makes it difficult to uh, measure the top of the fundus. And likewise, uh, remember that the bowel has to go somewhere as pregnancy advances, and it's frequently pushed upwards and out, outward. So if you have some degree of uh, displacement of the bowel or bladder, uh, excuse me, or bowel distension, then you may have uh, difficulty in discerning where the top of the uterine fundus is. The final thing that uh, you always need to keep in mind is uh, intra-abdominal pathology. While intra-abdominal uh, pathology uh, not related to uh, pregnancy or gynecologic conditions uh, are not very common uh, during pregnancy, they have to be kept in the differential diagnosis. 
and such things as mesenteric cysts, which are quite rare, and uh, ascites, which are, um, is also rare, uh, have to be kept uh, in mind as well. There are other uh, intra-abdominal conditions that uh, you could certainly uh, list as well, but these are extraordinarily uh, uncommon. So these are the things that I like to uh, consider. Uh, anytime I have a patient whose uterine size seems to be greater than her dates. The next best thing, of course, to do clinically uh, would, would be to do an ultrasound because the ultrasound will uh, uh, allow you to uh, determine which of these uh, actually are going on with the patient and allow you to uh, narrow your differential diagnosis or eliminate some of these things that we have considered.